Well, former President Donald Trump tightened his grip on the GOP presidential nomination. He beat challenger Nikki Haley in the New Hampshire primary yesterday by a count of 55 to 43 percent. As Penny Commit reports, after the ballots were counted, Haley vowed to fight on in the South Carolina primary, her home state. Former President Donald Trump scored his second 2024 victory last night after his projected win in the New Hampshire Republican primary. This is a fantastic state. This is a great, great state. While addressing supporters, Trump made false election claims and threw more attacks at rival Nikki Haley. She had a very bad night. Nikki, Nikki. Despite her projected second place finish in New Hampshire, Haley is vowing to stay in the race. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. This race is far from over. There are dozens of states left to go. CBS News exit polls show that Donald Trump's voters believe they're more conservative than Haley's voters. And our polls show that voters on both sides would be very dissatisfied if the other GOP candidate won the nomination. I voted for Trump. Um, I, he was great for the economy. I voted for Nikki Haley. I'm afraid Trump is just too much chaos. President Biden releasing a statement on the primary results saying, it is now clear that Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee and adding, quote, the stakes could not be higher. The president picked up a win from New Hampshire Democrats despite not even appearing on the ballot thanks to a grassroots writing campaign. Penny Commit, CBS News, Manchester, New Hampshire. But the news is not great for Haley in her native state. Three polls in South Carolina taken this month show Trump with a commanding lead.